I got four, four, five, hey, six, hey, seven. I got hey, eight. Hey, I got eight. Give it 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 and its gestation length is negative. Um, so yeah, it takes you a bit to get your head around some of these numbers, but, but then, you know, there's also a whole range of other traits, EBV traits that you can look at, but you've got to kind of pick the top two or three you want to focus on, because you can get a bull which is what they call a, a curve bender. So it's one that'll have really high growth, but it'll be low in birth weight, but then it'll be high in um, fertility as well. But they're very rare, and generally they're the ones other studs buy, uh, and they generally go for a lot of money, so put that bit out of our price range. So, um, Do you want to just, for the learners, newbies, do you want to say what EBV is? Oh, EBV, so estimated breeding value. It's just, it's an accumulation of all the data that's been gathered from the dam, the mother, and the sire, the father. Um, their breeding values and the, the information that's been gathered on the calf as it grows up. Uh, all that collated in, in, a, in a breeding program and you get these, yeah, uh, estimated breeding values. The buying philosophy we work on, um, you pretty much just want to choose your choose your stud. So choose the driveway you drive up, um, and then the bulls after that, pretty pretty well um, all similar. So yeah, the, the biggest the biggest factor is finding a, a stud that aligns with your values, um, finding one that will do the job for you. So for us. Yeah, grampians work really well because they've got hard country. You know, they um, they run their cows at altitude and, and it's a pretty tough condition. So if they can survive up there, they can uh, survive on our exposed uh, hill country as well. what we're doing? Uh, yeah, so just going around all the bulls that we've got picked out in our catalogue and just checking them out really, making sure they look well, they stand well, um, there's no obvious def defects or faults. So yeah, um, but by the time they get to selling stage, you know, there's four that, we, that, that have been withdrawn, so they probably come up lame or something. Um, they're all pretty, pretty sound by the time they get here. The temperament's <laughs> lovely, so that's one big thing about these bulls. They temperament's really, really good, which helps our cows as well. So the calves in the yards, also yep. good temperament. So to us, that's it's massive. Positive. Yeah. We'll jump in here and have a look at another couple. Cool. Mm. 
<laughs> what have we come up with? A couple more to look at. Yeah. 15 looks pretty good, eh? <laughs> What's changed your mind by looking at them in person? Oh, one, one hit Yeah, just walked a bit funny. Have you changed your mind as in one that you do want to look at? Yeah, it's more just if the stats crossing line them up. out, crossing them off if you, if you don't like the, the look of them. But yep. generally they're all pretty good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I just can't get over their temperament. Eh? Oh, they're lovely. So. Fine. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Pretty good. Yeah. They don't look very big on camera, but you know they're still big boys. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. They're only uh, rising two-year-olds. So. Yeah. Well, we'll go over here. Oh yeah. Can you show us an example of the page that you're looking at. So this 23. This is the next ball that we're looking at in this pen. Um. So for us. Yeah, 200 day weight is plus 45, so it's above average. Not too high birth weight. Um, negative gestation length, which is good, which is what we want. What do you mean by negative gestation? So they actually, um, a positive gestation would be... Longer like than the, what the, I was predicted. Well, like the nine months plus nine days. Yeah, right. So the exactly time. So negative is shorter gestation, which generally means a, a smaller calf coming out, which okay. is easier calving ease, a better calving ease. So, uh, for this ball here, mature cow weight, we're not really too worried about that because we can put some frame on our cows. Um, but it's, it's, it's a 400 day weight, pretty much, so. Can you just tell us um, the numbers as a wee bit fuzzy? Uh, 87, plus 87, the mature cow weight. Um, so the main one we're looking at is, a, yeah, plus 45, plus 84. And then, yeah, all these other ones are kind of secondary, so milk plus 14, Scrotal size plus 3.7, and then we're not too worried about the rib rump stuff because um, we're not taking them through to prime. We're just selling them at a 200 day weight, pretty much. So. And what number was that? 23. So this guy over shoot here. over here and have a look. Jenna's got a warm cup of soup. I love soup. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we have your attention, please. We'll get underway, and uh, great to see you all here. Uh, welcome to Grampians, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of John and Sarah and the, those three little kids, and of course, Graham and Anne and the family, ladies and gentlemen. Great to see you all here. From those that have travelled from north, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and hope the trip, trip down was good. And from those from the deep south, good to see you all safe. Yeah, just really like to extend a warm welcome to you all today. Such a great crowd. and. Um, we really do appreciate your support and attendance. Just something I wanted to cover on our balls. Um, you sort of see the, the three year guarantee bandied around a lot around the country now, but uh, it's something we take pretty seriously. So if you do have any any issues, um, it's something that we, we scrutinize these balls. They come from a group of 130 and we cull them for anything you can think of. Um, so we yeah, basically do the best job we can to ensure that those ones that are that are in there are right, and if they do have problems, please um, please let us know, and we will, we really do want to fix it. A maternally bound with milk and good in his scrotums, ladies and gentlemen. So hell of a good ball to start with. Right away you go for him, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, someone who goes and then make the 14 and 15, no trouble at all. Hey, I got four to start. I got four, get away with four, get away with four thousand, get away with five. five. Hey. Six thousand over here, seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand, ten over here with three, eleven, twelve. I get twelve over here. I get twelve with thirteen, fourteen over here, fifteen now. Fifteen thousand, eleven, fifteen, fifteen's over here. I got fifteen divided by fifteen. That's fifteen thousand up. Here we go. Get a selling mark. Hey, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen. I've got seventeen in the north. I get seventeen thousand. Back seventeen divided by seventeen, seventeen thousand. Hey, seventeen in the hard. Here we go. Get a selling. Eighteen thousand. 
sprung and worked madly for with fine. Five thousand and divided by the five divided five. Hey. This is here. Hey. Seven over the up. Uh, eight thousand and drink to me here today. Yes. Nine. Hey. Thirteen thousand. Hey. Hey. Eleven. Twelve. Hey. Thirteen. Hey. Fourteen. Fourteen thousand. Fourteen divided forty. Even forty. Would you like a half, mate? Fourteen. Half. Good on you, brother. Fourteen and a half. Fourteen. Now I've got fourteen and a half over here. I seven, I seven, 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 seven with a new hit. I seven, eight, eight, nine, nine thousand, ten thousand. Who's gonna have? I ten five, 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 Eleven thousand over here. Hut the money, yeah. Hut the eleven thousand now. Good for the money. Eleven thousand. Super safe. Five thousand down here with the Alby. Five thousand divided by five. Five divided by five. Hut. Six over there. Seven down here. Five seven. Eight thousand. Eight thousand. Nine thousand. Ten thousand. Now I'll go to halves. I need to practice. At ten thousand. But ten. Ten five. You've got him on the ropes. Ten five. This is the chance at 10 5. 10 5, all done. Right on, good mate. 10 5 there. <laughs> 172. 172. Nice. The Bird family, thank you very much. From the whole team at the Grampians, thank you very much for the, the support. Um, yeah, we really do appreciate it. Uh, yeah, massive support today. So, so I've got a ball, um, a couple of thousand dollars more than we were going to pay, but um, yeah, we not not a bad one, not one of our first picks, um, but man, it's pretty hot. All the all the balls that we chose were at least 14k, so another three and a half grand on top of what we paid. So um, yeah, pretty strong sale, um, but you know. So it was pretty much double what our original budget was, is what the top ones went for. Oh, the, the top ones were 18,000, I think, some of the top ones. So um, oh, even more than double, uh, yeah. The, the ones that we were, we we had a budget of yeah, seven and a half, something, eight thousand, something like that, and then the ones we want went for 14, 15, so. Um, so we got one for 10 and a half. We got one for 10 and a half. So, yeah, he'll do us for about three years. And uh, these Grampians balls, like I said before, have done pretty well over the past, so. Yeah, and they're guaranteed for three years. You heard Jono speak about that, which gives us some confidence. Happy up there? Oh. It's a $10,000 chocolate. <laughs> right, let's get something to eat. Just leaving Grampians now. Um, we just, yeah, got our ball. Had chat to a couple of people that I hadn't caught up with for a while, so that was quite good. And, um, yeah, now to go home and put uh, a bit more money in the budget <laughs> to pay for it. But no, it's um, it's a big tractor over there. Um, that's yeah, it's good good to get a ball in from a good stud. So that's uh, that'll be our requirements fairly well sorted, and we'll go and uh, go back to Timberley's in the spring and have another look there for a yearling. Um, yeah, so now we've just got to get the uh, get the the older balls that we've got off the farm. Uh, everyone's talking to one of the agents there, everyone's having the same issue about getting um, run bulls, so big breeding bulls killed or um, sold. So that's the next challenge. But yeah, bit of about an hour's drive ahead of us and we'll go pick up, pick up Georgia on the way. just starting out on their journey of finding another use for wool on their farm um, and they have wool mats mainly yoga mats which are just beautiful matted uh, felted in, at um, Christchurch and all you know made in New Zealand um, check them out they do have a website if you have a look here we'll link it down below we'll link it down below um really just really cool to see people thinking outside the square making the product have a little bit more market value um because it really is underrated um yeah so really looking forward to seeing these guys grow as a business
Jenna was just saying they've got woolen saddle blankets, so for all you horse riders out there, some ah, yeah. saddle blankets that are not synthetic. And they so also do horse New riding. Zealand, New Zealand well. wool. Yeah, so they do what we do here as well, so horse riders yeah. um, on their farm in the little cottage so for, for staying overnight. So yeah, we'll link the website down below. Cool. Yeah.